Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, this is a uh, this is something that really kind of haunts on my mind. So work with me here. I'd like your your genuine thoughts. Don't answer too quickly. I know, I know. I'm the guy who's like, somebody tells you to do something, then definitely do the opposite. So go ahead and answer quickly. No, I I want to because this is a this is a complicated one, okay? Because it's very easy to become hypocritical when you're talking about this. So I want to lay it out for you. And this is just my kind of genuine thoughts. It's not, uh, you know, not, not pre-scripted like any of these videos are. Uh, but here's the situation. So uh, a long time ago in internet time, 50 years ago, but it was really like four years ago, um, I did this, this thing where I was troubled by the fact that you had these people who are writing very heroic kind of characters, characters who are selfless, characters who you know, with great power comes great responsibility, all that kind of stuff. And yet online, they acted like lunatics. Uh, they would attack people. They would be quick to make decisions and everything else. Now, keep in mind, I don't think the virtue of the person making the comic has to exactly match the character. That's absurd. Like, and, and for that matter, whose virtue is going to hold up to Superman's? You know, that, that's it's, first, it's fictional character it doesn't have to deal with frustration in real life and all the rest of this kind of stuff. Superman can be perfect. You can write him that way. Uh, but anyway, I, I was what bothered me were, were these these creators who would kind of loudly promote that they were uh, writing these these characters and how much they love the spirit of these characters, but then would act in a very different way to others online. It, it, it made me frustrated. And all political walks, by the way, I, not just not just the Marvel guys, including some of the, you know, loud voices on YouTube as well, who would uh, also say we're very virtuous people, but then turn around and do kind of crazy stuff. So I took panels, just simple comic panels. I took the words out, you know, Captain America's there giving a speech. And instead of it giving a speech about, uh, you know, the power of America and the power of the people, I just pasted in the tweet. The tweet that this, you know, some of these creators would say into that to say, hey, you know, it, maybe it would jar your mind a little bit. Maybe it would uh, kind of a light bulb would go off um, before you posted some of this, this stuff. If you saw your words coming out of Captain America's mouth or Superman's mouth or or, you know, any of these major characters, if Spider-Man, instead of saying great power came great responsibility, says something like. We should round up all the Trump voters and kick them out of the country. If they starve, I don't care. You know, and, and how does that look coming out of Spider-Man's mouth or Captain America's mouth? Pretty strange, right? Well, maybe that comment is also pretty strange. That was the thought, the thought process. And I, so I did this and, and at first people got the bit. I think it, it, you know, that it was, it was funny. You know, it was that jarring moment of seeing kind of heroic, Superman kind of flying into action, uh, you know, talking about uh, voter fraud or, you know, <laughs> or COVID restrictions or, you know, any number of these things. It, it was funny. You know, watch Green Lantern, you know, saving the day while talking about somebody starving. Uh, they wish somebody would starve. Anyway, uh, the, 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 it was kind of a funny bit. Some of the creators... And most notably here, this is early days before uh, things got worse. Tom King, uh, Tom King thought it was funny. Tom King thought, you know, got the got the bit. Um, a couple others did as well. Some of the, some of the writers uh, back then got the got the idea, uh, but some definitely did not. It definitely led to a ton of blocks. You know, Gail Simone did not like that bit at all, and uh, it got blocked by plenty of creators who did not see the humor in it. You know, and then and and. Did not see the uh, the natural message, the juxtaposition that was going on there. Um, and then something happened, I would say, about two, three years ago. And that was, in addition to the creators being upset at seeing their words used that way, um, the fans, the, the readers, the customers, started to not realize it was a bit. Meaning, oh my god, I can't believe a Marvel comic said this. Now, the Marvel comic in question has like a you know, Reed Richards talking about how, you know, the January 6th people should be actually uh, murdered, uh, which was something that uh, an, a prominent editor at Marvel said. So, like, I don't know why we let these people survive in our country. Put them in a room, fill it with water, 
close the door. So here's Reed Richards saying this. And then here's customers going, look at this trash Marvel is printing. And you're like, okay, you may not like Marvel comics or DC comics. You may be frustrated with uh, some of the things that are being done. You may feel like they've tipped way much into uh, sermon territory with their books. But, but seriously, guys, uh, you, 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 we're all aware they're not going to publish, you know, a major hero talking about murdering people. They are not. I know some of you right now are going, ah, close enough. Not really, though. Not really. Yes, there have been clips that are eye rolling, particularly in those voices books and some of the other ones where the entire premise of the book is set up to be a little bit more of a, of a sermon, a little bit more of a lecture. But at no point in the Marvel books, even that, uh, what was it, the Angela comic where the character was yelling unsolicited opinions about Israel, uh, which, by the way, if you didn't understand that panel, it meant that the guy was anti-Semitic. It meant that the guy was talking, uh, you know, and, and very offensive things. Uh, in, in recent times, people have uh, have turned that around to say, no, no, it's uh, it's pro is anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like all things, things get confused. But, you know, you, you, it's important to recognize that, yes, there are absolutely examples of terrible writing and writing that are sermons and writing that not appropriate for these characters at all. Definitely, uh, yeah, definitely wrong. Definitely uh, bad, you know, bad tone, bad, uh, all around bad, for sure. But. Uh, they're not the, the, the comics are have not no comic no Marvel comic no DC comic is calling for the active murder of uh, a group of, of people. You know they and, and by the way that this is not a ringing endorsement like hey it's all okay now go buy those comics no the, a lot of the comics are still terrible but just just you know they, they, I don't need to over exaggerate anyway about two years ago people started really um, thinking these things were real, which took a lot of the fun out of the joke. Even stuff that was more or less benign. When, uh, you know, Sean Murphy, to his great credit, uh, made the joke with me about City of Bruce, the idea that that Bruce Wayne was actually fathering all the children in Gotham, that, we, that was a kind of a silly, bad pitch idea that, uh, you know, Joe and I did during one of those videos. Um, it, it, people believed that comic was real. DC is trash. Oh, now they're going to erode the Christian family values by having Bruce fathering everyone. Well, of course they're not. It's a joke. Joe and I did the uh, this video, Bad Pitches. We did a few of them, and maybe we'll do one again. But even that got, it's less fun to do those because a lot of the listeners believed they were real, that we were talking about actual storylines. How? That's the part that, that haunts me a little bit, is, is how? How in the world... Does that appear real? Anyway, so I haven't done that in about a year. Um, I stopped putting the, the, it just, it's less fun when one side uh, is completely like, how dare you write these things that are things that those writers write themselves? How dare you put those into the tweets? And the other side believes it's all real. Like there's not a lot of enjoyment in the middle of it. <laughs> like, and by the way, this isn't a, one side believes this, the other side believes this. No, it's, there's one side that's stupid, and there's another side that is also stupid. <laughs> Man, I'm looking for the not stupid part in the middle. You know, I'm looking for that not stupid group, which hopefully is all of you listening right now. But uh, but anyway, and again, I know some of you are going to want into the come into, come into the comments going, well, the comics are close to that. No, not not what I'm talking about. Okay, really, 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 not what I'm not not at this level. I intentionally went over the top. Well, technically, I didn't go over the top. I literally just pasted things these writers were saying themselves and put it in there, which were over the top and which were crazy and are definitely not fit for print. Anyway, so it went about a year. And then I thought, you know what? I, I want to do a couple more because there's because of this um, Israel-Palestine uh, conflict, there's some pretty crazy things being posted uh, by people like, like Nadia or, or, or Vita or Danny. There's some pretty, pretty crazy hot takes out there that are absolutely, absolutely offensive. Anyway, um, so I, 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 before I did this, I posted up a, a thread 
talking about how, hey, this is kind of what I just said. I used to do this. It used to be fun. Less fun now. Too many people believed it was real. I wish, you know, that, that sucks. I did an entire thread on Twitter about this. Then, at the very end, I said, I'm going to post some fake panels in a few hours. They're going to be fake. Just so you know, fake. And then a couple hours went by, and I retweeted that same tweet. Hey, fake coming. And then I posted the four fake panels. Anyone want to guess what happened? <laughs> so, um, a couple of them. One I posted, uh, and they're, they're on the community uh, part of this channel. And there are some people in the comments. I, it, in that one, I, I, I made a point to say, here are some fake panels, and here's the fake panels. And people are like, I can't believe Marvel prints this shit. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> Too, uh, frustrating. So frustrating, so, so effing frustrating. Anyway, uh, so I did this and there's old Twitter X comes through again and I'll be damned if a uh, pl- lot, like a couple people got the joke in fairness, a lot, lot, several did good for them. A lot more did not. And uh, one of them has like a spider boy fighting somebody and spider boy is like, you gay. And, <laughs> you know, again, some people like, hey, that's good nod to the boondocks. It was. It was exactly a nod to the boondocks. Others, though, are like, look at this trash Marvel is printing. <laughs> what? Ugh. Um, I started then taking the, hey, this stuff is fake, and then posting it as the first reply of these tweets in the hope of, uh, you know, once again clarifying what was going on. Uh, it did not help. But the, the highlight for me came with a Punisher, uh, the new Punisher, and uh, there he is. And I, I take a tweet. Fairness, I added two li- two words to it. The Hey Jokes, new Punisher's name is Joe. No, not Joe, the, the guy who's sometimes on this channel. Uh, but that would be funny. Joe is a new Punisher. As Mumbles would say, you know, listening to these guys is already punishment enough. Anyway. Um, but I put a direct tweet, direct quote from a active, active, writer at Marvel. Not the writer of The Punisher, David Pepos, different writer. Um, and uh, and boy, everybody is like, look at this trash Marvel's printing. The, 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 the tweet was something along the lines of, you know, Israel doesn't need your help, you know, the Palestinians need your help, Gaza needs your help. You know, it, it just kind of that, you know, it, it, it kind of, it, it wasn't, uh, it was, it was offensive in its tastelessness. Thus the point. And um, David Pepos sees it somehow. Somebody forwards it to him. I don't know. Somebody's like, look at this trash book you're writing. I have no idea how it got to him. I'm assuming somebody somebody along those lines. Pepos comes in saying, this is very offensive. I can't believe you did this. You know, I'm paraphrasing. By the way, he was polite about it. He was offended, but he was polite. Way more classy than the individual whose words were used in the first place. Uh, but anyway, Pepos comes in and, and says, hey, you know, and then people start attacking Pepos, and more people are not getting it. So I finally delete the tweet. I'm like, you know what? Punisher thing got too stupid. I deleted it because it just, you know. Then a bunch of people are like, hey, David Pepos forced you to do something. No. No, it just got too dumb. I think the bit is over, by the way. It, it has to be. This is just, uh, it's just too stupid. The part that I wanted to kind of vet out with you guys, though, is this. Um. I'm going to say it, let, let me explain it to you this way. I do videos, and there's plenty of people who have labeled me CG adjacent or hate group adjacent. They don't go just full on hate group. Every now and then somebody does. You know, Vita certainly has. Uh, but but many times people call me adjacent. The adjacent means, well, he says, he says normal things, and a bunch of my peers are willing to talk to him, and you know, he has helped out. I don't know if you dig into it. It's like, the guy has donated a pretty much shit ton of money to comic shops. He's helped some of my, some of my peers with contractual issues and getting their royalties and seems to be an okay guy, but he's got the wrong friends. And every now and then he talks about something uncomfortable to us. But mostly it's that friends bit. And I got a little bit of that, like, you showed up on, on Wes from Thinking Critical's channel, which means you must be a bad person. Now, I don't know at what point Wes became labeled a bad person, but yeah, it, whatever. Not by me, to be clear. But, uh, you know, because I, I talk to this person or because I am friends with people on Twitter, 
and I'm friends with people. I've, I've followed people on Twitter like three or four years ago. I don't spend a lot of time reading through Twitter. I pretty much post and leave. So I have no idea if some of those people I follow on Twitter have lost their mind. It's certainly possible. I do get messages every now and then from both sides. Honestly, more from the anti-SJW side, if you will. Talking about somebody, do you realize you're following this person and they're a jerk? Like there's some account of Bean, I think, or Bear. I don't know, some, some person. Now, maybe some of you know who this is. And apparently this person uh, turned on a bunch of the crowd funders. I, I don't know. I don't, I haven't caught up. I have no idea what's going on there, but I was following this person at one point years ago. And now the person is against crowdfunding or some crowd, I, again, something, some drama has occurred. And so I got a lot of DMs like, you need to unfollow this person. This person is speaking ill of Derek July. You need to get, get, pa I, okay. Um, I don't do that. Again, I, I don't take instructions from people like that. And I don't like the night letters. Uh, but anyway, so, you know, I'm definitely following some people. But by following people, I don't approve of their messages. I only approve of mine. I will post my things. I'm responsible for me. If I do come across some tweet or I see something that is blatantly offensive, I typically am like, hmm, you know, uh, is this a moment in time or is this person a true lunatic or whatever? And I've moved away from people who are clearly nuts. But generally, I don't pay much attention. I'm not saying this is a defense. It's just true. So I'm not trying to be a hypocrite when I say this. When, uh, when Pepos, for example, looked at that tweet or looked at the, uh, you know, this fake panel and said this is horribly offensive, was Pepos aware that the tweet I used was somebody he follows and in the past has said this person is a great writer to their books. Is, is he aware that these opinions came not from me, but from his, his co-worker, his peer? And if I am judged by that, you know, the people I'm, I'm talking to, if that's how people are going to judge me, why is it that the people inside of comics get a pass? Why is it that, no, 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 that's a different person? By the way, I think it's fair, completely fair, as I just explained, to say, hey, I don't control the words of other people. I'm, I, this is, there's some networking going on here and everything else, but I, I can't, uh, they, there's not enough time in the day for me to research every single day what people are up to and monitor it. Nor really do I want a bunch of you doing that for me on my behalf because that's creepy. I, I, I'm down with all that and that's a fair answer. But what irritates me is that I get a, a lot of people. You know, this was this was Bita's uh, first problem with me. Bita claims, well, once upon a time, four and a half years ago, the guy used a hashtag comicsgate in one of his tweets, which is absolutely true. That tweet was to say, hey, dummies, that's not how overshipping works. This is how it works, because CG at the time was was kind of going with this message of, uh, com you know, the publishers are forcing comic shops to buy unsellable shit when they uh, overship. And the reality is you don't pay for the overshipment, but you pay for the postage. It's it's penny. It's it's literally change. It's it's. it's it's nothing. And that overship, we're talking a couple books. Nobody's sending 5,000 copies of Iceman out to some poor shop in Milwaukee. Anyway, but that was, that was it. But that was enough. That was enough for a bunch of people. Andrew Fargo Fargo is another one. Well, he talks to the wrong people. Some of the, some of the stuff is coded. Okay. But if that's the uh, litmus test in which you're going to judge me, your, your, your call, then why is it that uh, some of your peers are out there every day talking about the extermination of Israel? Literally, the, the, like this place needs to be wiped from the map. Bombs need to be dropped until the sand is glass. Why is that okay? Why is it that uh, these creators can kind of go and do that and they're like, well, hey, that, that's their opinion, not mine. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But if, again, if, if I'm called on to denounce or, quite frankly, as, as some of these creators have asked, close my channel and retreat into oblivion. Hide. You know, it just dawned on me. Mumbles may be Vita. Hmm. Anyway, um, 
I, this is what they, this is what people want. Sorry, you follow the wrong person. You can never participate in comics again. That's not an exaggeration. That's what people have asked for. So, so which is it? Are we, are we supposed to be judged by our peers? Or are we not supposed to be judged by our peers? Which, which, do, which direction do we want to go here? By the way, not a knock against Tepos. Tepos was nothing but classy and nice in his, his response. It bothered him. He did not do this backdoor shenanigan DM bullshit that other people do. He, he spoke directly. So class act there. Not, not a single bad word to say. Good guy. But I'm, but I'm struggling here. One, I'm struggling with uh, a customer base, quite bluntly, not all of you, all of you are genius people. That sounds like sarcasm. I don't mean it. Well, in fairness, probably it is, because I don't know whoever, you know, who knows who's listening to this. Could be any of you. Uh, but but the majority of you, I'm, I'm assuming, if you stuck around this long, you're smart enough to understand what's a fake panel, what's not. One big clue, the font. You know, I've not paid for the official comic font. Uh, technically, that's true. I, I do have that font. But I'm not, I don't use it for the parody for exactly this reason. Anyway. Um, I'm, I'm frustrated by that because should just be a funny joke should just be a, you know, kind of a wake up call. Um, but I'm also frustrated by this, like, look, you know, the, the point of this was to point out kind of this insanity and it, the insanity still exists. This still is a problem or, or maybe it's not. Maybe this is not a problem at all. Maybe, like, look, it's, you know, creators can run around and say, you know, burn Israel. And no problem. And if the customers object to it, they're part of a hate group. I don't know. Do, do you see? I'm hoping at least a few of the people who are creators who've been wrapped up in this see a little bit the the struggle here. There's a, there's a dynamic here that's that's pretty hypocritical, pretty frustrating, which is... We're going to say crazy stuff. Maybe not me, but, you know, the guy sitting next to me. I'm going to praise and cheer on that person when they get a new title. I'm going to retweet and like when, uh, you know, they get they get more work. I'm going to just, you know, ignore. Maybe I legitimately don't see when the person spazzes out and says absolutely insane things. And then when fans object to it, I'm going to go, I have no idea what you're talking about. And the fact that you're objecting to it makes you a bad person. The I mean, you know, that there's just, <laughs> that just doesn't work. I'm sorry. That, that just, there's, there's too much suspension of belief that has to occur in order for this all to go. And you wind up at the end with just kind of a frustrated feeling. What's my motivation? Certainly not to make more of these parody things. So congratulations. We don't do more of those. Too confusing for people. And the message is, the, 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 none of the message is getting through. None of that, none of this is working. Okay, fine. Also, on my mind, why the hell am I jumping in to do this stuff with comics? You know, as I go through the effort to kind of put a publishing business together where I, where I you know, take money that could easily be spent. Other people are, you know, getting money off their YouTube channels. They're doing who knows what, buying video games. Uh, I, who, I, I have no idea what people do with their money. Mine goes back into comics. Goes to retailers, find a shop here that's struggling, can't make rent, pay it. That's what, that's what I, but Why? You heard the Perch Daughters few, you know, a little bit ago, talking about, well, you know, I, they would certainly like a new iPad. They would like some new clothes. They would like anything. I Hell, I could just give them $50. They'd be thrilled. My older daughter, I could just buy cheese. Just buckets of cheese. She'd be thrilled. Why, why, why am I going through this effort? Bluntly. Why am I going through all this effort with comics? When, quite bluntly, you know, I, the industry is is more than happy to take things out of context, claim I'm bad, say you're you're friends of the wrong people, and before some of you go like, oh, Perch is finally waking up. Yeah, some of you fans too, you customers who, again, if I'm following the, uh, it's Bean. I think it's Bean. I'm following Bean. Several of you are taking. Uh, you know, upon yourselves to send me weird little DMs talking about how that's a bad person I need to stay away from. What? 
What happened? Also frustrating. Anyway, maybe somebody can explain to me. Or, you know, the, the flippant answer to, well, they're all just hypocrites, screw them. And that's fair. Fair. But if somebody has a thoughtful, thoughtful response. And by the way, even, uh, you know, the, some of the listeners to the show, there's a guy who came in here going, this was really tasteless. I agree. That's the point. But why was it tasteless when I did it? And, eh, you know, they will be thems when others do it. That wasn't a weird shot, by the way. I'm trying to respect the pronouns of the person literally who posted it. Eh, you know, <laughs> what are you going to do? No, this is not exactly Poe's Law either. It's close. It's in that, that Poe's Law family, but not quite. Anyway, love your help. Love your thoughts. And yeah, if you're, if you're actually listening... Thanks for listening. Well, hey there. Actually, we're not done. You know, if we're going to complete Poe's Law completely, then there has to be a little bit of an afterword. So the afterword is, as I mentioned before, this Punisher panel that had the, uh, you know, the tweet uh, from uh, Nadia. Uh, well, anyway, um, that one got jumped all over, um, and so and, and too many people were per, were just believed it was real, and so it was getting dumber and dumber. And like I said, I pulled it. Um, I didn't want to have to explain for the five hundredth time that it wasn't real, so it's fair. When I did that, and I know several of the comments are going to do the "you never bend the knee" comment, um, and that's not exactly what this is. I made my own choice. The writer of this comic, in this case, Pepos lost his mind, and immediately went into the uh, Will Smith keep your name out of my mouth display, uh, which, in fairness, I have not actually seen a grown man do uh, outside of whatever the hell that was at the Oscars when Smith was clearly on something and middle school. Uh, but uh, that's, that's where he had proving that, yes, there it, this, this entire thing was one big gaslighting adventure. I, you know, who knows what will happen? My, my strong belief is people knew exactly what was going on. Um, whatever. Again, like I said in the video, everybody's responsible for themselves. They're not responsible for the people they hang out with. They're not responsible for the people they like, the people they work with. They're responsible for you. Try to be a good person for you. But in that vein of trying to be a good person for you, think. Just think. Think for yourselves. You know, it's it's... It's, it's something a lot of people, a lot of us, fail all the time. What a day. Anyway, everybody has blocked each other now, and we're moving on, and fair enough. We will absolutely give this writer zero attention. Enjoy. This is the bad place. <laughs>